If you're a young guy and you're watching this and you are thinking, hmm, it's about time that I settled down, then you need to hear this. What the hell are you thinking? Because look, we are in this unique period in history. We are at a point in history where the options available to a young man, and a man of any age really, but particularly a young guy, I mean somebody who's maybe in their 20s or early 30s, are manifold, are absolutely exponentially off the scale from what they've ever been before. And I'm talking in terms of dating, but I'm also talking in terms of travel, I'm talking in terms of lifestyle, uh, career, finances, money, really anything that you can think of you can now experience better than kings and princes and emperors of old could ever hope to achieve. And yet, you're sitting there on the internet thinking, hmm, well, I've had a little bit of fun for a couple of years, uh, but now I need to find the one and I need to box myself off and I need to go and get a semi-detached house in Croydon and maybe a couple of kids and, and uh, that, that's it, game over, you know. It makes really no sense to be thinking about that if you are a young guy. And I, some might argue, even if you're an older guy, you know, why do you want to limit your opportunities when your opportunities, your potential opportunities are so numerous that if you're just sitting at home and you haven't, got out and about and started traveling and started, you know, maybe working remotely or doing the digital nomad thing, you just can't have any idea of what you're missing out on, okay? There is no need in this day and age for anybody, any guy, to get married if they don't absolutely want to, okay? Now, I'm not saying that, I'm not saying don't tie the knot, as you can see behind me. I'm not saying don't tie the knot if that's what you really want to do and you meet somebody and you think, well, this is it, you know, it's your life, you can do what the hell you want to do. I'm not gonna try and dictate it. But at the same time, there's no need for anybody to do that. If you're sort of thinking, well, you know, I'm coming up to 30 now, I'm coming up to 35, my best years are behind me, I better get out while the going's good, capitalise on my wins and um, marry somebody because otherwise what if I'm a lonely old man? It's really, really, really bad thinking. It's really just, it's just stupid because actually there's no need for you to do that. You can have an active and flourishing dating life all the way through your 30s all the way through your 40s, all the way through your 50s, right through into your 60s if you want to. Now, the, the truth of the matter is, then guys say, yeah, but what about when I'm 60? You know, what about when I'm 70? Uh, am I still gonna be able to date then? Well, the truth of the matter is, you're gonna slow down, right? <laughs> you are, take it from me, right? I'm in my late 40s, you are gonna slow down. Your libido is gonna slow down. Your desire to, you know, to be running around and dating all the time is going to, recede okay it's going to gently calm itself down but in the in those years when you know you're most keen to get out there you're most keen to have this this like extrovert sort of full and uh, exotic dating life you're absolutely going to be able to achieve that now it will take a bit of learning of uh, game or social skills okay uh, nothing particularly difficult but it will take a little bit of application in that side of things which is where I come in and people like me, dating coaches, you know, we can help you with that stuff. It may take some travel because you want to go to places where you are appreciated. You want to go to places where your value is relatively high. Okay. You don't want to be stuck in say small town America where you were the chode at school in class and the women aren't particularly interested in you. You know, you want to go somewhere where Generally speaking, you get a decent reception. So that could be like, I don't know, Eastern Europe. It might be in South America. It could be in Southeast Asia and whatever, you know, the usual places. So you wanna, you wanna maybe go somewhere like that. But with those two things ticked off, you can have a dating, amazing dating life, amazing romantic life, all the way through your adulthood, really, until such time as you, you get to the point where it's like, well, actually, I'm not, I'm not really that bothered now. You know, I'm not bothered in, in terms of, um, 
you know, I don't want to be running around like I was in my early 20s anymore. I'm quite happy just to be dating this one girl or, you know, I've got a couple of girls that I see and I devote the rest of the time to to work or to whatever other pastimes you've got, you know? Um, so the sort of imperative to settle down and to get married because, oh my God, that's my only option because otherwise what am I going to do then? It's just not really a thing anymore. It's, it's, not, it's not an imperative. It's certainly not an imperative that you should be taking in any way seriously. So um, think on that, basically. Think on that. If you're watching this and you've been sort of getting those feelings and thinking, well, my friends are all doing it. My friends are all settling down. What about, you know, is it about time? Is it about time that I wifed up old Mary Jane from the local council estate and, you know, started those trips to Ikea and all the rest of it? Consider the fact that, I mean, if you want to do that, do it, right? But you don't have to do that, okay? You don't have to do that. There really is another life out there. There are, as I say, manifold possibilities, manifold opportunities for you to enjoy. Um, if you get out and about and take advantage of all the wonderful opportunities that we have been given, okay? I mean, there are many things to complain about in this world, for sure. But and there's many things to complain about regarding technology and social media. But on the plus side, we've got the ability to, to travel pretty much wherever we want. We've got the ability to make a living from pretty much wherever we want in the world. We've got the ability to date and to stay in contact with people all over the planet. We've got the ability to book hotels, to find the best deals for hotels remotely. There are so many things. We've got Google Translate, so we can talk to people, you know, that previously we wouldn't have been able to communicate with easily with Google Translate. There are so many different things that we have now to make it easier to have a great dating life and also to just have a great life in general, you know, um, for travel, for new experiences, for just enjoying the brief existence we have on this pretty amazing planet before we all perish and shuffle off the old mortal coil so think about it and if you want to talk to me about where you're at at the moment in life in dating then you can grab a free call with me there's a link below if you want to read my books about all of this stuff about dating the dating marketplace then I have a bundle which is called Renegade Dating Blueprint again the link is below so get hold of that subscribe to the channel give me a like Write a comment underneath, it really helps with the algo. And uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. But uh, let me know your thoughts, but it's a wonderful world. Don't seek to tie yourself down out of scarcity, all right? Do it for love, if you want, if love exists. But don't do it out of scarcity. Don't do it out of a full sense of necessity, okay? Anyway, with that being said, we'll leave it for now. I'll see you again very soon, bye-bye.